Hello, my name is Mr. Love You. Welcome to my channel. So happy to see you here today. So today we are going to learn some more programming. Yippee! So let's go. So in the first part of the video, we will see how we can add ActiveX and .NET controls to our palette. Let's go and see the existing palettes. So here is the .NET and ActiveX palette. They already contain some controls and the containers so let's see how we can add more dot net objects and activex controls to this palette go to tools from there go to import and then dot net controls to palette a dialog box opens from the first part you can select the assemblies from where you want to import objects we will let it remain on the default then you can scroll down to select whatever control you want to add let's use let's say a track bar select OK and let's see if the new object has been added it has been and we can select place and use it on our front panel now let's go and add an ActiveX control a dialog box appears we can scroll down and select so let's add Microsoft Visual document viewer now select active folder if this is the folder where you want to add or you can just create a new one let's create a new folder let's call it let's go inside and current folder the progress bar appears so let's see if our object has been added and there is our folder and there is our object let's place it And there is our visual viewer. So let's go and remove this uh, track bar that we had placed earlier. And let's move the visual viewer that we had placed earlier. Let's resize it so let's go and uh, see how it is programmed so we can right click it and create and method let's load something into it let's create a path constant let's drag this 
visual file let's pass it to the URL of the load function the wire will be broken since it expects string path let's right click the wire and insert path to string and let's run the code to see how things appear so nothing seems to be nothing seems to have appeared although a page one has appeared so to make things appear let's go to create Let's uh, call the zoom property. Let's change it to right. Let's create a constant and set it to one. So let's run the code again. And there appears our visual drawing. So let's play more. Let's go and call method for display about box. let's go and run so here appears our our about dialog box let's play around a little more so let's continue and uh, let's display context menu let's display the property dialog box at the current screen let's create constants let's keep it to default value let's run the code So about appears, then the context menu appears, and then the properties viewer also appears. If we click on particular object, then the properties of that particular object appear by control clicking. And last let's call a method to for shape name let's create an indicator and let's create a control let's set it to 1 let's run the code again and this is uh, the name of this shape is process let's change it and the second shape is called process 2 and the third is called dynamic so let's go and do one last select shape
let's pass the reference and the error wire and the same index so let's go and run the code the shape has been selected let's change the index and the next shape has been selected let's increment it and the next shape has been selected and let's end this by calling unload function Let's unload the object. And let's close the reference. So let's run the page has video document has loaded about dialog box appears right click menu appears properties appear and the sh uh, shape was selected and the video document has unloaded from the container so this is how you can use these uh, property nodes and methods and activex controls to create and call uh, diff, use different ActiveX controls and call in this specific example Visio document in on your front panel. Hope this helped you and thanks for watching.